Well, my name is Sharkita Glover, and I go by Shar on the show because it's just easier in pose of trying to say Sharkita. Um, I'm on this season of Project Runway season 13, and yeah, it's been a wonderful journey. Well, tell us yeah. what inspired you to go ahead and audition for the show. Um, I've been designing for a really long time, like over 10 years. So, you know, I've, I'm a fan of the show first and foremost. So, of course, I'm like, you know what? Every Your friends are always like, you should draw for the show. You should draw for the show. And I just, this time I just went for it. I was like, you know what? I'm just going to try out and here we are. Well, you made a good decision. You're on the top five now. That's so exciting. Yes, yes, yes. Wow. So tell us, how does it actually feel being like in that top five now that everyone's watching? Do you watch every episode each week? Yes, I do. You do? I do. And yeah. do you, how do you critique yourself on there watching each week? Do you get nervous or do you, did you actually know what you were saying at that point or do they put on TV different aspects that you didn't know you were saying? Well, we have, uh, inter I guess the confessionals, you know, when you see us and then the mannequins in the back. Right. So you know what you're saying because it's you, you know, I think what's shocking is you don't know how they're going to edit it. So that's uh, the part we're kind of seeing for the first time. And also you don't know. Um, a lot of times you're seeing what the other designers are thinking for the first time. So we love your dress that you did in less than an hour. That was fabulous, Thanks. your blue dress. Love that. Thank you. Did you feel the pressure was on being that you only had that hour or did you, because it turned out so well. Yeah, well you really don't have time to think. You don't have to be think. honest with you, because in an hour you have to come up with the concept, um, cut it, you hope that the uh, design fits the model and have all that done within an hour. Like, one thing about Project Runway is that they are really um, they are really on point as far as time. Like if they say an hour, that's exactly how much you get. Like it's no extra. It's their their integrity is is awesome as far as being fair with time and everything. So if they say an hour, that's exactly what you get. So the pressure was definitely on. <laughs> so so normally, how much time do you guys usually get? Well, it depends. If Tim says you have 30 minutes to sketch, that's how much you have. If they say you have whatever it is and you that you guys see, that's exactly what we get. So it's we don't it's no hidden agendas. Everything is exactly what you see. Uh-huh. And like when you're designing at home and your at your own leisure, was this kind of a culture shock that you have to design so quickly? Was it kind of like the pressure was on? A culture shock is an understatement. It was, I mean, because when you're at home, you're used to having your music and you're yeah. used to, you know, having your comfort zone. I mean, you know, you're taken away from that, you know. So it, I, I think a, a, a situation like this stretches you. And I was definitely stretched. So, right. you know, it's, it's when you go into it, you just got to go and, and embrace whatever happens. So Exactly. Do you think you got used to it, though, over time? After the weeks go by, you're probably like, okay, did you get it? Or still... Well, you can't really get too settled in because yeah. it's another challenge coming. So you, as soon as you think you got a grip on it, they throw you a curveball. That's true. You know? So that just, you just got to stay in the game, keep your head in the game. Well, that's crazy with the storage units, how everybody just took couches and everything and just made designs out of them. It's like, that's amazing how you guys yeah. can just do that. Yeah. And what a lot of people don't know is one of the reasons, because it was pretty much bought up, you know, that my model couldn't walk. But one of the reasons she couldn't is because we used the screen in the door. The like me and Sean actually used the, the mesh from the screens. Right. So that's that that doesn't stretch. Right. You know, nope. so it's a restrictive fabric and it's unconventional. So those type of things that you wish would be added a little more, just like, hey, this is why she couldn't walk. Yes, you know, so those, I, I have to say those three outfits were the cutest outfits on the runway. I love them. I would wear them. Thank you. So Thank cute. You. And you know what? Like like we said, the lamp. The lampshade that you guys used and like the screen, that's what makes it so unique. It's like for the talent itself and creativity, that should be giving way high up points. Yeah. So regardless if she can walk, she looks good. <laughs> yeah, she, we, we were fly, right? We yes. were the fly girls that couldn't walk. So it was cool. <laughs> Just stand there and look good. Just stand there. Yeah, do your best. Just We're going to slow roll. Just go real <laughs> slow. <laughs> exactly. And it was even cool with the, uh, the so rainway, was, the rainway, yeah. Yeah, that was an experience. That was something I'll never forget. Like that, to me, it was a moment. Like I felt so lucky to be there. Like that was awesome. That's really neat. Now, with these outfits, and um, when everything's done, do you guys get to keep them, or what happens with the outfits after the runway? Uh, no, we don't get to keep them. I think they are donated or auctioned off, if I'm not mistaken. I'm not 100% sure, but no, we don't get to keep them. Oh, because a lot of those outfits, it's so cute. I mean, they should sell it to everybody. They would make a fortune, you know? Yeah. 
Yeah, I guess they kind of like, hey, I don't know. I'm not even about to try to think what happens with them, but I know we don't get to. Uh, oh, yeah. Okay. Anything else behind the scenes that people may not know about Project Runway that we can know about? Like what we don't see on TV? Like okay. anything? I just, one of the things I was shocked about being a cast member was how how they really stick to the rules. Like if they say 10 minutes, and I know I brought that up before, yeah. but it's shocking because I know as a viewer, I'm like, it's no way they doing all that and that little bit of stuff. No, what you see is exactly what happens. When they give us our challenge and you see our faces, we are seeing it just like you are for the first time. Oh, wow. So that's one of the things that really shocked me. I'm like, whoa, they really stick to this. You know, this is... This is real, it's you know, so that's job. that's one of the things I think that the public will be surprised to know that we don't get extra time. That stuff, you have to come up with stuff and be on it. So Wow. And if you literally don't have like a zipper sewn on and everything like that, I mean, the panic must be on because if it's not sewn on at that time frame, it's like you got to go. So. Yeah, you, you, you have to make it like Tim said, you got to make it work. <laughs> yeah. And speaking yeah. of Tim, how do you feel like he saved you and brought you back? What was that like? I mean... He has like a piece of my heart. Like I think forever I'll have a, a mm -hmm. spot in my heart for Tim. Like words can't describe how you feel when somebody says, hey, you deserve a second chance. Like that's, how can you describe that feeling? You that know, so, so awesome. I'm, I'm forever grateful. Tim's now, awesome. Where were you when you found out about this? Did you already go home at that point or did you get a call? How did that happen? Yeah, I got a call. You yeah, so it was kind of, yeah, like come back. We're come not back. done with you. You're like, wait, what's going on? So yeah. <laughs> And then yep. tell us what's been your favorite piece that you've done so far. Hmm. I think the little girls challenge. I think I've never done uh, kids wear before. Mm -hmm. So to, you know, actually do it good and the judges receive it the way that they did. That, that was that was really awesome. So I would have to say the kids challenge. And then I had a little model that was a little angel. Like that was fun to work with her. She was so cute. So exactly. it was just fun for me. Yeah. And how do you feel with the judges being there, like critiquing you all the time with your outfits? You get nervous each time? Um, I think when you first, the first time you meet them, you're like, uh, like you're literally like shaking in your, you know, shaking in your pants. Yeah. But I think before you do, well, no, let me not even, I'm about to laugh. You can never get used to it. That's what I'm going to say. I'm not even about to try to find nothing fancy to say. You can't get used to that. To be in front of Heidi Klum, Zach Posen, mm -hmm. Nina Garcia, to be in front of them, you never know what they're going to say. You never know um, whether they're going to like your design or not. So you can't get used to that. No. Right, and exactly, and if you think your piece is fabulous and then they tell you otherwise, it's like such a shell shock because it's like, oh, this piece is so good and then they tell you otherwise. Yeah, so, be ready for it. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay, and then go ahead and tell us, um, who's your fashion inspiration? Do you have anyone in particular? Um, I have two people. Mm -hmm. One, I like Isabel Morant. Mm -hmm. I believe, I don't want to say her name wrong. I believe it's Isabel Morant. If I'm, yeah, okay. Um, I like her because of her story. I like the fact that she's, I'm not going to say a rebel designer, but I've read an article that she did uh, recently, and she was saying that if she doesn't have her collection ready for the fashion week, she doesn't do it. Like, she doesn't feel the pressures that the industry can put on you. And, and I'm kind of like that. Like, I, I kind of fly by my own you know, my own speed. Like I do what I want to do, kind of, kind of like a little rebel a little bit. So when I saw that she kind of had that same type of mind frame, it, it made me be like, okay, I like you. Of course, her clothes and shoes and stuff are amazing. But to find out the woman behind the design kind of stands for something that's a little different. I like that. Exactly. And I think secondly, Tracy Reese, uh -huh. um, because she's from Michigan. So uh -huh. just just that alone, like, and her clothes are awesome, and Michelle Obama wears them, and then she has, like, a sophisticated eye. So those two are my faves. Oh, that's awesome. How do you like living in Detroit? What's that lifestyle like for you? Detroit is cool. I'm born and raised here. Uh -huh. So I was in L.A. A lot of people don't know I was in L.A. for a year and a half. Oh, okay. So I lived out there and then came back home. So I have current plans to move back to L.A. So. Oh, yeah, so I'm like a flight risk right now. Like, any time, I'll be gone. So I definitely want to uh, go back out to L.A. What, I was going to ask you, what's the fashion industry like in Detroit for you? What is that like? Detroit, we kind of, our style is a little different. Like, we kind of, Detroit dresses up. Like, they definitely, you know, are fashion forward. We're risk takers. So I, I think uh, who I am as a designer kind of reflects that little edge and urban kind of, you know, uh -huh. 
swag, I guess you could say. So that's that's kind of how Detroit is all. We kind of uh, walk to the beat of our own drum. Do you have a company of your own that you're working on now? Your own clothing line? Anything like that? Or Yes, I have a clothing line called Chargrail's Couture. Mm-hmm. Had it um, since I started. Like that was the you know I started my brand once I began you know being a designer and it's doing good. I'm, I'm working on my fall collection right now. I'm a little late because I was on Project Runway, but good excuse. <laughs> now, yeah, right. <laughs> so now since I'm home, I'm working on that, and um, I have a YouTube fashion web series oh, that wow. I'm happy to get back going. So yeah. That's exciting. And now that the fall is here and coming up, um, what can you expect people to wear? What's in at the moment? Hmm. Plaid is crazy right now. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't know what's going on, but flannel and plaid is, it's everywhere right now. Of course, um, denim is always a good, you know, a good go-to uh, trend. And let me see. I don't know. That's the only thing I can think of right now is plaid. Because the color, as far as color palettes, you know, we switch up a lot. You know, you always got your cranberries, your charcoals, you know, for fall. But I don't know. I'm just I'm just seeing a lot of plaid right now. Plaid is dominating. So plaid is in. OK. And then also, what would you say is your favorite material you like using when you're designing? What's your favorite? Um, I'm going to say silk crepe. I love that fabric because it's, it's it flows, but it also has stretch. Mm -hmm. So. That's my favorite fabric right now. I see. Now I was going to ask you, when you go into mood, do you, are you pretty much sure what you want to find in there? Or you kind of go in there and kind of search or you kind of have something in mind all the time? Um, usually when I'm in mood, it's so funny because Tim always jokes. Like I'm always the one knocking over my buggy. Like my, we get like a little basket and it has wheels on it. I'm uh -huh. usually, I, every time we go to mood, I flip over my basket. Uh -huh. Every time. I'm nervous and then he's calling 15 minutes. So mood is kind of nerve wracking. It's a wonderful store. The staff is overly helpful you uh -huh. know but your mind like you can't relax because you're trying to maximize your time so yeah <laughs> it is, isn't it huge in there that there's so many options it's like where do you go it's three floors oh my gosh so you're i'm falling down it's a mess <laughs> just get out i'm in move get totally out of my way <laughs> well there's some fun facts we learned there yeah. you go so goofy, you gotta watch out for me. I'll knock you, knock you down. You gotta watch out. <laughs> oh, so, if you could pick any celebrity that you'd like to design for, anyone in particular? Hmm, how many can I get? Look, let me see. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna say two. I'm gonna I'm I'm say two. Definitely Solange. Okay. Solange knows I love her. And I think I would like to dress. Who is my style? I like, think it gotta be somebody that's funky. Probably like, um, I'm gonna say Rihanna. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, so Anja and Rihanna, because they're more, they're like fashion rebels, like, and that's my whole, that's my whole style, like, I want to do everything different than what everybody else is doing, so I think those two ladies. Do you have yeah. a current celebrity crush, anyone in particular? Oh, totally. <laughs> <laughs> my celebrity crush is Andre Benjamin. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah, Andre Three Stacks from <laughs> Outcast. Uh, I can't even look at him. When he's on TV, I get all flustered. And, oh, he is amazing. Yeah. So if you met him, would you get nervous then in person? No. Oh, no. Uh -uh. It's, if I see him, I'm like, uh-uh. It's, it's no time to get nervous. You, <laughs> you have to take advantage of the moment. Ain't no nervous. It's how you doing. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Exactly. You're 100% right, though. No yeah, wasting time here. Part. Yeah, don't blow your chance. I'm going to be cool. Hey, hi. Did you watch Project One Way? Oh, What if they had him walk in on Project One Way? Oh, I don't know. I, I can't say what I would do. I, I would try to be classy, but girl, I don't know what to tell them. Watch out, ladies. Watch out. Excuse me. Uh, excuse me. He's here for me, okay? No. He's here for me. Exactly. That's <laughs> This is the best response we've gotten for a celeb crush. This is great. <laughs> Do you have a dream date planned out for you guys? Do you have, like, what would be your dream, ultimate dream date? I would want to go get coffee with him. I know that sounds corny. No. But no. I would want to just talk to him. Like, he just seems so interesting to me. Yeah, I think the movies, all that will come later. You know, I would want to just, you know, I would just want to kick it. Just really just have a good, stimulating conversation with him. Exactly. Well, I hope that happens for you. We're rooting well, for you. Universe. There we go. Put it, out there. Put it out there. Put it out there. Just want to tell everybody out there anything? Um, 
I just want to say thanks for all the love. I get a lot of positive feedback, a lot of you go girls and, you know, that type of stuff. So I definitely um, appreciate it. It's well received. And just keep looking out for me. I'll always be doing a lot of good stuff. You guys follow me on Instagram, Twitter, you know, Facebook, kind of just say hi. Like I'm super cool and I love to hear from positive people that just, you know, want to connect with in the fashion world. So, yeah. Exactly. And where do you sell your stuff so everyone can check out? Where is that at? I'm going to have an online boutique. It's shop.sharkrails.com.